Okay, let's get started. It's lyrical Leo over here. And today I'm gonna show you five water stick that you, you didn't know. So just let's get started. And please don't forget to subscribe because you don't wanna miss what's gonna come next. I'm a young YouTuber, so don't just leave a like button, comment how it's the quality of the videos I produce. So because that will be like an angel for me to keep on producing more videos on how to operate phones, things that you didn't know about your phone. So I'm just here to make you get to know what you didn't know. Let's get started. Please don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss it. So the five hacks, I'm going to begin with the first one. The first one is on the font, how to change a font. Like this one of mine. It has some slanting fonts in it over here. But we want to make it to be some nice fonts, okay? So it's quite simple. Come over here to this three dots in this uh, right corner. Click over here. Your form mode is that what's up? Okay, so many op options here. Just have to select one. So we go to forward modes. Then go here to so many other here. I get universal. So many other here again. So you have styles, look and feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Font style. Yeah. Then we select. I prefer having this. Let's go check it out. How does it feel like? It's done. Pretty cool. It's done. It's done. So we're gonna do the second one. How to hide specific people from reading your statuses. So come into the status section. Click this three dots over here. You go to status privacy. Yeah. So who can see my status updates? So it's so it upon you to select who you want to see your status and who do you want not to see your status. Maybe you don't want your dad, your mom, your sister, your brother to see your status, your girlfriend. So it's upon you can hide them away. Okay. So you just start here, come here section, select. Okay, like here yeah, I've done. I've selected two if you want to select more you can just do this select or selecting you just give it a tick and it's done those those three will never see my status again and that's how simple it is the next one it's how to keep important messages on your phone so when you feel like a message is important to your phone I don't want to lose it. It's quite simple. All you need to just start the message. Just come over here. This one is important. I'll make it here. I don't press it over here. Yeah. You have so many options. Yeah. So we come here. You have come out this time. Then it's a start message. So after starting the message, you can see it later. Let's go. start messages and here it is this is a message and yeah here it is so come on start messages so it is here quite simple so that you, you don't want to lose important information in your charts maybe some business charts some confidential charts but you want to keep the messages so that just for you not to lose them so just keep them over here maybe you, or maybe it has some important links so you keep it over here, you start the message, then you can have it there. The fourth one is how to hide blue ticks. You know, when always using WhatsApp, people always be like, no, you blue ticked my messages. Or sometimes it's maybe like you weren't able to reply, you had nothing to say, you were just bored. But today I have a solution here for you. It's quite simple. When you want to read messages and reading the message without the person thinking that there was a blue tick that message had been read. So the first thing before you read the message, yes, it has arrived, as you see. Yeah, what's up? Like I do see some messages over here. But you know, see, it's quite a simple thing that I do. I just turn on airplane mode. I turn it on. After turning it on, 
after turning it on. I come over here and read the message. After reading the message, get back. After getting back, quite simple. You switch off the airplane mode and go on. He or she will never see that you've read the messages. It will remain a great tick. Because they can't see. WhatsApp does not get how you use WhatsApp when it's when you're offline. So that's quite simple that you also need to know. And last thing, last, last. How to change the wallpaper of a chart. So it's quite simple. How to change the wallpaper of a chart is quite simple. You open a chart. Come about these three buttons over here. We have a wallpaper. We have here a wallpaper library. Yeah, just click a gallery. Boom! It's a thousand photos that you can select from here. So nice. So pretty cool. It's upon you. What kind of photo do you want to be like your wallpaper? I think you select, okay? But I prefer this. Yeah. Then you set. Look, look how nice it is. It's, it's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. It's gonna feel better, okay? Okay, so these are some nice hacks that I was teaching on WhatsApp. So the next video I'll be dropping is on about on Instagram. How to acquire Instagram followers, so many. How to like download videos on Instagram. So thank you for the time. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, it's beautiful.